Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and today I am doing the camera review for the OnePlus Nord 2 and after all the updates I am doing the camera review because I just wanted to wait and check whether OnePlus will improve the camera and can they make it better or not. So let's start with the hardware of the OnePlus Nord 2. It has a 50 megapixel primary camera which is a Sony IMX766 which is a f1.88 aperture and a sensor size of 1 by 1.56 inch. The ultra wide angle camera is a Sony IMX355 which is an 8 megapixel resolution with f2.2 aperture with a 119 degree field of view and it also has a third camera which is a 2 megapixel monochrome camera which is kind of useless guys and the main camera which is the Sony IMX766 sensor has optical image stabilization built into it. And on the front, we have a 32 megapixel camera, which is a Sony IMX615 with f2.5 aperture and also has electronic image stabilization on the front. And when we talk about the camera application, it has tons of features. To be honest, it was directly ported from the Oppo or Realme family of camera application. I actually liked the camera application of the OnePlus smartphones previously, but this is not a bad move at all. And when we talk about the actual features of the camera application, there are a lot of features like clone mode. It has the ultra wide angle cameras, tripod night mode, similar to the Realme phones. It has panorama mode. It also has the high resolution mode, which is the 50 megapixel resolution mode. And also it can support 1080p 60fps with the extreme stabilization and the video is recordable at 4K 30fps and the 4K 60fps is not available yet. We also have the tripod night mode, which I said earlier, which takes around 45 seconds to get some amazing shots. Apart from that, the regular features of camera application are here, like adding grid, adding composition, auto HDR, you can add watermark, remove watermark, and you can set the video encoding and other things as such. But the most important thing now is to take a look at the camera samples, which we have taken in various lighting conditions. I've made a detailed review of this device, so sit back and relax. Now let's take a look at the daytime shots taken from the OnePlus Nord 2. The daylight shots are actually really good with some great colors and natural colors as well. It has incredible contrast, great HDR levels, and it has really good sharpness in the images. And OnePlus has come a long way in calibration of the colors. It is not oversaturated like before. AI photo enhancement options are here, which helps to boost the colors and make it look artistic. There is no dedicated telephoto lens, but the 2X is actually really good, which crops from the main 50 megapixel sensor and 5X is just fine. And there is a natural background blur due to the large size sensor. All in all, the daylight shots from the OnePlus Nord 2, both from the main camera and the ultra wide angle camera, both in the outdoor lighting conditions and the daylight shots in the indoor lighting conditions are really, really good. And I'm really impressed. The human subjects are great too. And the background blur is kind of hit and miss, but the colors are natural and really pleasing to the eye. With some editing, you can make your photos look to be really good, as you guys can see here. Now let's take a look at the selfies from the OnePlus Nord 2. The selfies from this phone are great too. In indoors, the selfies are great with true to life colors with around 10% boost in colors to make it look social media ready. Indoor selfies in morning times have whitish tone to it, which is common in all these Chinese smartphones. Sharpness in selfies are really good. Dynamic range is great too. But the only caveat is the background blur in selfies is a hit and miss, which works fine in outdoors, but indoors it doesn't. Now let's talk about the low lighting condition photos or the night mode photos where OnePlus Nord 2 shines like a champ. The point of making the night mode photos look like day is gone for good and the night mode photos on the OnePlus Nord 2 are outstanding. They're really, really detailed and probably it has the lowest noise in this price segment thanks to that f1.8 aperture and 3 second exposure time and as well as the OIS which kicks in at the right time and keeps the saturation levels of the photos really good and the sharpness on point. The saturation levels, as I said, is really good, which makes the nighttime shots pleasing to the eye. The ultra wide angle camera in night mode is kind of okay-ish, but the 2X mode in the night mode photos helps you to take some amazing photographs and the noise reduction is the keyword for OnePlus Nord 2's night mode review. All in all, the night mode is actually really good on the OnePlus Nord 2 and I guess that is the best point about the OnePlus Nord 2's camera. <laughs> Thank you. 
let's take a look at the night mode selfies on the oneplus note 2 again portrait mode in the low lighting conditions kind of hit and miss again guys it actually doesn't blur the background sometimes depending upon how much light is falling in front of you when you put in some good light the night mode photos come out to be really good even in the selfie department of this smartphone the colors in the selfie department in the night mode is also very good and i'm actually very happy that oneplus have removed the secondary front camera which was an ultra wide angle sensor which was present on the oneplus nord one because one camera does the job of both the two cameras now let's take a look at the videos that has been taken on the oneplus nord 2 and here i actually love the video even though the front camera actually supports 1080p 30 fps videos come out to be very good as you guys can see the sharpness is on point the stabilization is on point i am not using the ultra steady mode the dynamic range is kind of okayish because the lighting was very less it was around 6 6 30 pm in the evening and the video is very good when we talk about the video from the rear camera it is capped at 4k 30 fps there is no 4k 60 fps i'm not sure whether it will come with an update or not but the stabilization is fantastic and colors are actually very good as well there is kind of a cooler tone that is present on the videos of oneplus nord 2 that is what i have observed but the stabilization which is is the ois is fantastic and also the focusing that is present is fantastic there is no focus hunting issues and when we pan there is no jittering that is present as well and when we take the videos in extremely nighttime conditions the noise is also well contained as you can see it has some really good video that has come out even in the nighttime conditions mind you this was pitch dark conditions and it was fantastic and even you can take some very good videos if you have some stable hands you can take videos for your youtube purposes as well this is a video that i have taken of a smartphone that i'm going to be reviewing next and with the help of some minor editing and some color grading you can make the videos that has been taken from oneplus nord 2 usable for the youtube videos as well this is the 4k video that i have taken and it looks fantastic and i'm really loving the video on the smartphone as well especially the stabilization part of it and i'm actually comparing the oneplus nord to with one of my favorite smartphone cameras in recent times which is the lg wing lg wing has a great camera guys if you guys have not watched my lg wing videos you should go ahead and watch them and now i'm actually comparing this because this smartphone was selling in the 30000 rupee price range right i just wanted to have a look at the lg wing and the oneplus nord 2 comparison as you guys can see the wing has kind of a pinkish tone and nord 2 has a softer tone and i actually like the nord 2 image here and when we talk about the ultra wide angle camera here is lg wings camera and it is actually kind of natural and the nord 2 is kind of cool and it is trying to over sharpen here when you talk about the building or structural images as you guys can see lg wing has a natural tone this is how it was looking but when we talk about the nord 2 it was kind of over sharpened when we talk about the 5x lens the lg wing is again more sharper and true to life in terms of colors when we talk about the 2x camera this is the 2x camera and this is how it looks on the wing and the nord i like the wings image by the way and when we talk about videos from the front camera lg wing has 4k video support from the front camera but for some strange reason it is having a really pinkish tone even though there is support for 4k and the sharpness is on point i feel the nord 2's video is slightly better nord 2 has a pretty good field of view as well as you can see you can see more of my face but lg wing is kind of zoomed in and also it has a pinkish tone which i hate it when we talk about the side by side comparison of the oneplus nord 2 and the lg wing from the rear camera for video department the wing has 4k 60 fps and the nord has 4k 30 fps but the stabilization on oneplus nord 2 is just outstanding even though the wing has great stabilization i am liking the stabilization of the oneplus nord 2 the os is kicking really well but the colors on the lg wing are slightly better as i said earlier the nord 2's colors are kind of coolish and the lg wing is what it provides colors all in all my point about this comparison is the consistency of the lg wings camera is slightly better but all in all oneplus nord 2 is a fantastic camera and the final verdict is here guys i will not confuse you guys by telling oneplus nord 2 bhi acha hai wo bhi acha hai i'll just go ahead and tell oneplus nord 2 is one of the great phones for camera in this price segment and if you're looking for all-rounder smartphone in this price segment i think you should go ahead and straight away buy the oneplus nord 2 this might be a controversial statement but i would say oneplus nord 2 is the best smartphone from oneplus you can buy in 2021 i feel the difference between the oneplus nord 2 and the 870 oneplus 9r is not that much so i guess you should go ahead and buy the oneplus nord 2 
if you are looking to buy a smartphone in the 30 40000 rupee price segment and 8 gb 128 gb model of this smartphone will be more than enough for most users and the camera on this device as you saw through multiple photographs and multiple different scenarios shines in almost every segment i have not taken the shots and presented you the shots like slow motion panorama dual video mode and what not because those are something that people don't use on a regular basis these are the kind of photos that i've shown which people use on a regular basis to give you a point that the nord 2's camera is probably the best in the 30000 rupee price segment and if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel because analytics says more than 99% of you guys who are watching this video are not subscribing to the channel which is kind of disappointing guys we have recently hit 10000 subscriber mark and join our family thank you for watching guys